Awesome. Hello, folks, and good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Oh, Justin just joined. Um, wherever you guys are, with whichever time zone you are in. Um, happy Wednesday. Today is our third meeting of this year, and I'm pretty excited and because we have a good amount of updates. And I think we have full house. So I'll go ahead and I'll ask um, Christian if he would like to give some updates on the uh, Zeek LT side and the Zeek open source project side. So Christian, take it away. Uh Yep, thank you very much, Padma. So I, I have a few things on the technical side and then uh, a very brief update where I'm impersonating Johanna today. Uh, so on the technical side, um, well, um, Zeek 6.2 is still in testing. Um, our testing subgroup is somewhat busy at the moment, which is why this is taking a little bit longer than, than usual, but we want to make sure that everybody there had a chance to run it before we make a release. So um, soon we will have more. And I'm going to use that opportunity as a call for you know uh, uh, support. So if you run a Z cluster in production and you have some spare capacity to maybe every now and then around three times a year, <laughs> uh, basically try out our release candidates and see how they behave, that would be super useful for us. Um, so if you are one of these people, then please get in touch and 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 you know open doors uh, are waiting for you and we are happy to accommodate you and, and tell you more about that. Um, once that release is out, I think we'll go through that release in, in more detail and show you a little bit of the stuff that is in there and also our thinking for Zeek 7, but I think um, we should wait until it is out. Um, then the other big thing to talk about today, I think, is as maybe some of you saw yesterday, there was a um, uh, announcement about a vulnerability in one of uh, um, Zeke's packages, and I wanted to address that real quick. So, so the thing to keep in mind is that um, well, first let me start. So this was um, a C cell package that provides a parser, and um, uh, the first thing to say at that level is, um, so if you install Zeek packages, please be mindful of the fact that the Zeek project is not auditing Zeek packages. We literally can't. We have nowhere near the manpower to do that. And this is very much like pretty much every other ecosystem that I can think of that provides packages for, you know, its user base. And I don't mean to punt on, you know, uh, sort of, you know, the whole idea. We could do more to tell you about sort of the the, the risk profile uh, if you install a Zeek package. Uh, and there's work underway to make that happen via, you know, the packages website that could tell you, like, is this running a plugin? How is that plugin implemented? Is it using Spicy and so forth? So we have some ideas there, but it, they will type, they will, sorry, they will take some time to land. So right now that is not there. Um, if you have questions about a package, swing by our community venues and ask about them. I think you can always do that and we will do our best to help. Maybe ideally the maintainers of a package are there and can answer questions. You can of course always just reach out to the maintainers of the packages directly and, and so forth. Um, um, and if you are the developer of a package that builds analyzers, protocol parsers, protocol analyzers, then please consider if you start from scratch, for sure, to start off using Spicy, our in-house, uh, you know, protocol parser technology that is literally there to make you e make it easier for you to build those things and keep you safe. And if you have one that is currently handwritten, then please, by all means, consider switching over. You will hopefully find that your development routine after that is much easier than if you have to basically like sort of think about the bits and bytes that are in a given header and so forth yourself. Um, so. Um, I think that's pretty much all that I wanted to flag regarding that one. So keep in mind that when you install a package, it is a good idea to take a quick look at what is going on in that package before you trust it. Um, I think in the case of the CISA package, everything was done in terms of responsible disclosure. It was fixed quickly. If you're running the latest version, you're safe and so forth. So I think this is all sort of pretty much taken care of and, and worked as you would expect. Um, but it was a good reminder for the community, I think. Um, let's see. Um, I don't really think I have other technical updates unless somebody wants to remind me of something. And just to channel Johanna real quickly, um, she's been super busy organizing Zeek Week. Um, and so this is just a reminder that Zeek Week is happening. Uh, keep the 13th and 14th of August on your calendars of this year. We will hopefully see many of you in Pasadena. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, all of the usual details around uh, you know, talk solicitations and so forth will follow soon. We're not there yet. Um, but we've already had some signals from people that are eager to submit a talk or two. So this is excellent. Um, and I think that's all I had today, Fatima. Thank you very much. Thanks, Christian. Are there any questions for Christian on LD side or in general? 
<laughs> okay. Um, moving along. So I would just want to ask, Richard, do you have any updates on the communication side of the project by any chance? I don't. Uh, I just wanted to reiterate what Christian said about the vulnerability. We did put a blog post out. So if anyone has any questions, they want to read more, just go to the blog. And I think it's also on uh, the community discourse. Awesome. All right. Thank you. Cool. All right. So um, lastly, but not the least, training subgroup. Um, we have to actually two trainings coming up. We have two trainings coming up this year, which we're pretty excited to um, present. The one will be, again, as Christian mentioned, uh, during the Zeek week, so 13th and 14th August. Uh, when we are going to have Zeek week, we'll, we are planning a one full day of event of trainings. And um, as far as I know, we will be doing the same, uh, same pattern of training where we will have two trainings. One will be given by Ashish, which will be advanced scripting. One will be more on the um, uh, the Z deployment side of things. We have updated that training from introduction to deployment so that people know how to deploy Zeek in um, real world. If they have any questions, we have great response uh, for the training when we presented the first time last year in October in NSF Cybersecurity Summit. And that kind of like gives us the second venue for giving this training again this year, which is going to be in the October. Uh, again, same event, NSF Cybersecurity Summit. So we, these are the two planned events for us this year that we're really looking forward to. And if you have any feedback, if you want to help us, if you want to give um, any kind of, um, you know, like feedback on what we should include in the training, what we should not include in the training, we are we always have this bi-weekly training call on every, on every other Friday. The next call will happen next Friday. We just changed the time slot of the call. So instead of having it at 10 a.m. Pacific time, we, we have just pushed it back one hour, so it would be 9 a.m. So if you have anything for us, if you want to just come help us out, just see what's going on or just provide your valuable input, we're more than happy and more than welcome to um, have you in the call. So we look, we always look forward for um, new people, new faces to come and help us. So, um, and, the, and, the, and the link for that training, I always, link for the training uh, meeting, I will always put it in the training Slack channel that we have at least one hour before the training. Um, if I remember. So if you I, if you're not already there, please join that training channel and then let us know anything regarding training that you want to see. Um, help help out. Um, do do be a be over TAs like any help. We uh, really welcome and appreciate. Um, with that, I think that's pretty much we had for the training side as well. Uh, I know Kelly just joined. So Kelly, do you have any updates or any thoughts or comments? No, I think you did a great job covering everything, Fatima. We are working on several other events and hoping to have those announced shortly. So we'll keep folks up to date as we have them. Awesome. Cool. Uh, with that, I think we're pretty much done with the call. Unless somebody wants to share their really cool Zeke story anecdotes or weirdness that they have seen in Zeke or bugs they want to report. We already had one in the package, so I think Christian covered that. Uh, but if people want to just share their um, happy, sad stories with Zeke, we are all ears. Maybe I should start picking on people next time. Sad, sad stories are not allowed. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. All right. I'll just give a couple more minutes if people want to share anything that they're doing, anything fun they are doing with Zeke, some kind of fun project that people people would be interested to hear. Okay, all right. Well, if nothing else, maybe next time I'll start picking on people and then we will just have like, so people will just disappear from the call, like they will just drop off. Um, Cool. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for uh, this wonderful call. And thank you so much for all the updates. And again, feel free to reach us uh, on Slack. Uh, if you have any questions regarding anything, this call is always posted on the YouTube for our future audience, future people who are seeing this. Um, if you want to attend this call, we have our Zeek community calendar um, there on our Zeek website. And you can always go there. And if you don't find link or if you have a hard time finding it, reach out to us on Slack. That's the easiest way for us to respond to your questions and queries. And in future, anything you have related to the project, we are more than happy 
to just hang out with you guys there as well. So with that, I think we can get rest of our 20 minutes back of today. Unless somebody else, again, last call, somebody else wants to discuss or throw tomatoes on us. This is the best part of Zoom. Like you can literally <laughs> virtually throw tomatoes, but you know, it's, I think that's one of the things that I like, like about Zoom. You can? That's no, amazing. No, I'm just, I'm just okay. thinking that. But <laughs> Zoom should add that thing, you know, like. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, oh there, there we go. Is. All right, nice art. All right, cool. <laughs> Consider tomato thrown. All right, challenge accepted. All right. Well, uh, it's always nice to see you guys and chit chat. So thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next month. Till then, take care and happy zeking. Bye, folks. Thanks. Bye. Bye.